Hi folks, welcome to Coffee and Colossians. The very final one, uh, chapter 4, verse 18. I, Paul, write this greeting in my own hand. Remember my chains, grace be with you. Paul had dictated most of this letter, but he personally signs it, perhaps to prevent fraud, who knows? But he ends it with a beautiful request for prayer that he wants people to pray for him and he's writing this with a chained hand. And his great wish is for grace. Grace being the richest and greatest blessing for us all. You know, the Colossian church, so we've gone through this, isn't that so much where we're at? That we face many of the same issues, cultural confusion, religious confusion, legalism, traditionalism, false doctrine, pride, human sin, needing guidance. And the solution's always the same. Colossians 1.9. For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we've not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives. And that's to lead to this life that, 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 you know, the solution for us is to know Christ, to be filled with Christ, to come to Christ, to live Christ. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. It's a great life of grace to be lived. There's a task to be done. We have a ministry. We need to get on with it. Now, I am going to request that that you pray for me as well. I'm going to take a break for a week before this coffee series. And then in preparation for going to Newcastle as well, I've been looking through the book of Luke. So I think since our aim is to know Christ so much better, this is a great book. So we're going to begin a kind of Look with Luke series. Uh, and we'll do that beginning of October, first Monday in October, I think. So uh, don't forget us completely, but I hope you've enjoyed going through Colossians as as much as I have, it, it's huh, strange, isn't it? 124 of these sessions, who would think there was so much in such a little book? And yet part of me feels we've only just scratched the surface. But it's wonderful. There are greater depths and riches in Christ and his word than we ever realize. So God bless you. I won't see you on Monday. Come and join us on Sunday for the... Uh, Sunday Catechism and join us a week on Monday as we begin to look through the Gospel of Luke. Bye.